It has been a decade of controversy for Eckerd Connects and local child welfare cases. We've reported extensively on issues, including children spending the night in offices. Tonight, a grandmother with social work experience is speaking out about her concerns following her own experience. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau is here with that story. She's a grandmother and former social worker who never expected to become a foster parent for her own grandchildren. She says she expected more from caseworkers assigned to help her family. The grandmother of these children installed cameras at their home to keep an eye on them just in case. Angela Hart has already been shaken by tragedy. It was horrible. This grandmother became a foster parent when her grandchildren were removed after drug abuse allegations. Then last August, he overdosed at the age of 32. But I didn't get a goodbye. I didn't get to one final kiss. He was too far gone. Hart is a former social worker and tells me, in her opinion, caseworkers should have done more to help her son find a treatment program. A garbage truck. And she says caseworkers failed to visit her grandchildren and their mother enough after the struggling family was reunified. The kids were reunified in March. Mom just met the guardian ad litem two weeks ago for the first time. Hart also claims the caseworkers tried to drive a wedge between her and her daughter-in-law. Do Angela have cameras in here? Mm -hmm. Trying to stir up something, and they're constantly implying that I have a beef with the mom. I have not a beef with the parents. My, my problem with the parents was their drug use. She says she hopes her grandchildren will never need state intervention again. And after Eckerd Connects is replaced in Hillsborough County by Children's Outreach of Southwest Florida, Hart says her case is an example of why changes in the child welfare system are vital. Definitely too many cases. There's probably not enough case managers. Um, the turnover is extremely high. So maybe reinvesting the money in case managers and specialists to come and spend time in the home. Ecker Connects would not comment on this specific case, but a spokesperson tells me caseworker visits are documented, and he says the agency is open to listening to foster parents' concerns. Some foster parents have told us they're not open to listening to those concerns. Right. What are some of these other foster parents telling you about the, the new providers under this so, new, so we've new heard way this of doing things? And we've heard this concern uh, since last fall. The, the main concern is the name will change, but the system and caseworkers will stay the same. Eckerd is laying off nearly 200 employees this month. Some foster parents tell me they're wondering if many of them will end up working for this new agency. Mm. We'll find out. All right. Thanks, okay. Walt.